talking with the brethren. Uh, it was like Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. God told me I was immature. I told him, what is that? God just called me immature. That's what he said. And me being the person I am, I want just his stuff, but I want to know why. And he started dealing with me how I deal with the problem. And I'm just one of the people, I get my own bag, I get my own book, I drive myself, I, I'm just me. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, it's just me. And what he was showing me is how can you develop them if you never give them the task to be developed. So this is why it's important to follow the leadership. I try to justify it, you know. I told him, listen, I called him, God told me I'm mature, but I didn't have all that. But the maturity was like, well, that's up. You see, in a relationship, as the relationship mature, that's what they say, that we've been together sometimes, as that relationship mature, you respond different to a husband or to a, a wife. As your kids get older, we say, oh, they ain't ready for that. What you're really saying, they're not mature enough to do that. That's what you're really saying. And God got some stuff for us. It's a time and it's a season that you make certain moves. And I'm learning. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. God knows I'm learning. And so we, we went back and forth with that. Second Corinthians, uh, 16 and, and, and I mean 6 and 14 he said be not e unequally yoked together with unbelievers and what God really was showing us is, is an association and as you mature you, sometimes you just got to tell me listen I done mature in life now I don't hang with your others mm -hmm. not knowing me. <clears throat> you see if I know you got two point you got you got two kilos in your truck or your car, guess what I ain't doing? I ain't getting in your car. You better be lucky I don't say nothing. But I ain't getting in your car. Now you would have called about 20 years ago, guess who would have been riding shotgun? Me. This is my waistband. I'm just telling you the truth, but maturity taught me like this. That's what you do. Uh, brother Lee, he got, uh, no, brother uh, Rob, he, he, he said best. He always said, hey, we be talking about styles. And he said, this, this, this is a different style for everybody. And it is true. Yep. Amen. But I know what styles I ain't going to get into. And I ain't going out of style because I'm staying with Jesus. But, so he said, there's an evil association that you got to separate from. And there's a place and a time you got to separate. A mother got to separate from her children. Yes. A husband got to separate from his wife. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Got to get a break because you're trying to get somewhere spiritually. Uh, I was I, I was talking some years ago. My she talked to me one or two and said, let them cry. Go pray. Don't they cry. ain't worried about that. Well, that's the worst thing you can tell me. They be in there crying. I be in there praying. Don't they cry. I know they could. Right. I know they alive. So hold on. They cry. They could. You know, but you got to develop that. If you ain't develop that, you go crazy. Mm-hmm. Will. You want to keep going in there and see what they're going on? They don't want that. <laughs> you know, fed the bird, change they cry. Okay, well, they get tired as well. But maturity is our maturity. And what you were supposed to do as saints, we're supposed to mature in God's word. So he said, there's a separation. He said, uh, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fillers about righteousness with unrighteousness and what uh, communion have, uh, have light with darkness. You see, and it's a, and the, 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 the part I want to bring your attention to is that be not unequally yoked. That means there's a different level that you got to get to. Every last one of us. If we be unequal, that means something more or less. Right. Mm -hmm. And since we, the temple of God, I'm trying to be the more. They say, you do the most, I sure do. Should have seen me when I was in the world. I did the most. I was that guy I go by out there every weekend. So we all did too. Me. Every time I went somewhere. Can't even wear the same shoes no more than three times. Oh, don't let it be the white ones. You know what I'm white. Two. Amen. <laughs> that's doing the most. Yeah, no, I'm telling you. The buy outfit every weekend. You wear the thing is this. You wear the outfit to the club one time, you gotta go get another one next weekend. Yep. <laughs> that ain't doing the most. Right. You know what you say? Well, I can't say what y'all say. You know what I used to say? Somebody saw me that last weekend. I can't go back in there like that. Right. It's <laughs> real, Elder. What they were too drunk to even remember. In dark? Can't even see nothing. 
It's real. Right. Hey, we have Facebook and all that stuff. If I posted, I ain't waiting. Amen. Well, I ain't posting. Yeah. We weren't posting. We weren't posting. We were posting up, but we weren't posting. We have all that stuff. Sometimes we're looking at the pictures like, boy, you was a fool. Oh, we got to figure out what Y'all ain't going to see us? No. Hallelujah. But if you was doing the most deed, why we ain't doing the most? Now, we, that the Bible says, listen, listen, Paul saw you say, he, 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 he crucified himself how often? Day. Don't that mind you the man that gives a new outfit weekly? Mm. Why? Because somebody see me with an attitude yesterday. I don't want to see him with the same attitude tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. Right. I was short, patient, and very aggressive this morning. I don't want to have the same thing on this afternoon. Hallelujah. Y'all used to go to school and go home and change. Just go to a football game. Y'all think Definitely. Definitely. I'm the only one ever done this. Definitely. Definitely. That was the hangout spot. <laughs> Now you want to have to school all day long, but you got to go home and change. No, dude, sure did. Did. Oh, I got to do something for the game tonight. Whoa, what you got on? The same people you saw earlier? Can't uh -uh. hey, wear it. Mm -mm. I know. I would want to know. Okay. Got to take What? Right. Mess around that day. Let the block be right. What did you choose and all? But, and so you got to crucify yourself daily. You're supposed to have a daily change in your, and so, but they don't come without separation. Sometimes you got to separate from people so you can see you and you can hear what God is saying about you. God talked to you about you. He does. I know we got this thing God tells everybody else business and he business over us. We got to stop that like God deal with you first. He does. Yeah, Amen. So. With a quickness. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. He does. He do. He'll tell you you got a problem. Quick. Amen. I'm so glad God still tell me about my problems, and my flaws, and my faults. And I had a lot of them. Go with me to the book of uh, where did it? Second Corinthians six. Six. Go to First Corinthians. But this is this is this is this is the attitude we gotta have. We was in the store. Thank God we saved for real. But I ain't caught nobody out. But the, us fellas in that chair, we can see the group. I don't know what they were trying to come out. They were like them saints. They trying to go through racks and all that stuff. I don't want to allow the Holy Ghost, but. Man, they moving quick. <laughs> and I told her, I said, man, that's your wife right there. <laughs> they were creeping. This man, we saved for real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> was big. Go. Because the thing is this, by the time we saw them, it was really too late. I mean, they had spotted us from the beginning. <laughs> we had to watch y'all about 10 minutes. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> no, we can watch them. I just see Sister Robin back there. Yeah, I see Sister Robin back there. I look at him. I see. I see her. I know that them. He <laughs> <laughs> told. He told Brother Malik. He said we got to have a meeting. We went to drive our location or something. <laughs> what they say? What they say? He had a drop or something. <laughs> Somebody put the ad drop that location because they came out like the stamping team. Charlie? <laughs> 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 we already know y'all It's true. We already know. Just hit stop sharing right there, though. Once she see that, but she the thing is, now we want to say, we talking about we finna do all this, we want to do all this. You see, that's like this the mindset I got all the time. I just never know who I'm gonna see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't ever know whoever gonna come to the church. I was riding, I was in charge, and I was talking to the girl. She said, Why you didn't tell me it was a pastor? I said, I ain't going to have a bad tip. You, 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 you see, the other girl, and she's been talking tough about the church. What's your name? Oh, I just saw you a real preacher. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know. I must have been resent myself, right? But it was the conviction. He said, so you preach every Sunday. I said, most of them. He check us out. On, uh, I can't remember that YouTube thing. You see? But I carry myself. I'm human. I laugh. 
I eat, I sleep, I drive. But there's a maturity you got to get when you're trying to advance in God. First Corinthians chapter three. Second Corinthians chapter three. First Corinthians three. I'm sorry. <coughs> Uh-huh. And I, brethren, I, brother, do not speak unto you as unto spiritual. I couldn't give you spiritual things. But as unto carnal. Uh -huh. Even as <coughs> unto babes in Christ. See, you, there's a babe in Christ. But how long are you going to be a baby in Christ? Three. I have fed you with milk. What you give babies? Milk. milk. Something that ain't solid. Right. You can't give them tough food. Mm -hmm. Can't give them nothing that really gets dinner. You give them milk. Sisters got to develop. Uh huh. And not with me. I can't get you no know, meat. Uh huh. For hitherto you were not able to bear it. You ain't able to bear it. Neither yet now are you able. He said, You still, but how long you got to be in the church before you can bear some meat? What I'm saying is, how long you got to be in the church so we can really talk to you about your issue without you getting bad leaving the church? Amen. Mm -hmm. How long do we still got to preach? Oh, Jesus going to make a way and he's going to bless your pockets. Can I be honest with you? The message will get old. Mm -hmm. I'm just being honest. Not, not, not even make, we know we can make a way. But the preach that Sunday after Sunday, man, we want to talk about some real stuff. Help me, preacher. You done told me he's going to make a way last year. That, that, that tell me how he's going to do that. Because mm -hmm. he's going to make a way, but you got to first get out the way before he can make the way. But if I can't get you out the way, he can't make the way because you already got the way made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. I hope they wonder why Jesus say wait on ministry. Now I understand. Because in the process of waiting on your ministry, you're being told your ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Three. For ye are yet carnal. For where for whereas there is among you envying and strife mm -hmm. and divisions, are ye not carnal? In 2 Peter 3 and 18. You're supposed to grow in grace, grow in word. Grow in doctrine. This sound doctrine. Listen, I can't sing, but I got sound doctrine. It didn't sound good. <laughs> well, I can't sing every song, but I can sing. Amen. Amen. Every song, them, them, them high songs, they ain't really for me. I got a deep voice. But that voice is? Baritone. Uh, baritone. <laughs> I barely have a tone. That's it. That's the one. Amen. That's your sister. <laughs> <laughs> but, but grow in grace grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior grow Jesus Christ in, grow in grace and in what the knowledge grace is a message so you're supposed to take that message and get the knowledge from that message and grow in it mm. but if we got to keep giving you Jesus is God that's you ain't going to grow nothing right hallelujah mm. hallelujah grow in grace and in knowledge uh -huh. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. To him be glory both now and forever. Get, 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 get Second Peter 1 and 5. And beside this, uh -huh. giving all diligence. Giving all diligence, that's what I want. Add to your faith virtue. Add to your faith what? Virtue. virtue. Script. So you can believe without script, yes. <laughs> I told you a lot of us got the mindset that Jesus can, but we don't believe it's done. My mind is different now. It's done. The minute, the minute I ask for it, it's just done. I, I promise you, that's my mindset. I'm on something different now. I must have took one of them Jesus pills. Because now it's, it's no, oh, now it's, in my mind, it's not if, it's when you're going to see it. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to see it. It's when, and what I got to show God is like, Lord, even if you take 30 years from now, it's fine with me because I know you're going to know it. Mm -hmm. That Lord ain't asked you to take 30 years. I don't know if we got 30 years left. Mm -hmm. Think about that 560 to say this, Jesus. Do it, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see, but the, 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 the hardest thing about really growing up is waiting to grow up. Anybody remember when you could wait to grow up? Right. Now, haven't even regretted that you could wait to grow Amen. up. I showed my friend. I wish I was still in my mama's house. Woo! Nah, I ain't going back. I go back to my mama's house. I go back. I go back. I go middle school and high school. If I can keep the mindset, I got. I ain't going back to that. 
going back. I go back my mama house. Quick. Today. I'll go back to you want to go to the Tell me what to do. The vote on the job tell you what to do now. You can't get smart with your face. Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes I'm tired of watching these dishes. Listen, now you watch some other things under the dishes. I can't wait. Now you got kids doing you what you were doing. Right. Now you like me. I can't wait till they grow up. No, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I got two that probably ain't gonna never go nowhere, but nevertheless, they, they, they be grown. I got one that's gonna be in, and I, I got one gone as soon as they able to go. I got one, I don't know where they gonna go. It's gonna be around a long time. Yeah, so the wife now, y'all better get your daughters. <laughs> so do keep his clothes. Yeah, man, listen, <laughs> check that dude by my. But what I'm saying is, what, 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 what listen, life change. Oh, Anybody had that well thought that plan life? Yes, I know it. Oh, I know I did. <laughs> my life ain't gonna know what it was planned to do. It went according to his plan and not mine. Try college got all the way to the last few years, the last year of college, and just quit. And one more, one more, and say I'm done. Done, just like just. And I know it wasn't me. God know my intention. So God let me go through all them six years and get ready to graduate with that form. And I said, Nah, boy, you going to prison? I better keep you. I sure was going to prison. I was up in that form. I was being the biggest dope man you know. That's, that's, and you, when you, you talk to my brother and tell you, like, man, you remember you talking about you going to be a legal dope dealer? There ain't no such thing. <laughs> I mean, the pharmacist is, is, is a legal dope dealer. But I was going to really be a dope dealer. You ain't got to have no prescriptions. All right, you had to have some gash. Cash is yours. I was going to prescribe you anything you need. God said, no, you can't go that way. But look at the mind that God gave you. I'm 15, 16, thinking about this day. Mm -hmm. It ain't too far long ago, just for the record. <laughs> ain't too far. Right? Yeah, a few years. Ooh. But my, my mind, and I, I thought about it, you see. But you got to mature. Now, see, if you if I take the same mind now, and I had a different mind, God, if I got the mind now, if God probably would let me finish. I was so immature. Besides, he said, besides this, giving all diligence and uh, add to your faith virtue and to virtue what? Knowledge. So I got to add knowledge to script so I don't get more why. And sometimes I thought about some of these old folk. He said, young man is the script. But some of these old folk were stronger than we were because they can go through some without quitting. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Mother show her husband that I don't know how many years. But she was a single lady all the years. Mother's cow. Husband. They were separated pretty much all your life. All your life. Went. She didn't leave the church. About 50 years. 50 years, you know. Amen. She is strong. Hallelujah. But what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to show y'all. They, they were stronger than we were. And they had less resources than we had. Bishop went almost 30 years. 25 years. Long years. That's a long time. We ain't got that type of script. That's my whole lifetime. Some of us just can't say no. You're going to see it. Yeah, I'm trying to be safe. You're trying to be safe. You just better be. Amen. You just made me go. No, oh, that because we're a bit you. You're ready. Just made me go. <laughs> ready. Yeah, yeah. It just made you. That because we're a bit I just, right. I just hit the wrong button at the right time. Mm -hmm. And then y'all don't see the spirit of the devil doing it, trying to keep y'all head and depressed. That I guarantee you this. The devil dealing with somebody mind that I, I'm so, so just ignorant, man. God dealing with somebody's mind about quitting church. What you gonna do when you quit? It's mm. gonna come back. Then you gotta fight the whole thing about him, you didn't quit, and then you gotta get yourself back together. Anybody dealing with that in your mind? That's true. 
Plenty, plenty of I done quit before they figured out this. I'm gonna just say. I tried quitting. I made up in my mind. Ain't no church quitting. But what I'm saying is, it's a, it's a battle that ain't even your thoughts. That ain't you. You got to shake yourself. And that's where the maturity come in because when, when you get somebody mature, a mature person tell the truth even when they go into their own hurt because they don't want to deal with the lie later. Right. Wow. Listen, I just going to get this out of the way because listen, if I tell you the truth the first time, whatever you say and do, that's it. If I lie, I got to worry about the lie, dealing with the lie, and then dealing with what I lied about later. And trust issues, trust me. They hard to fix trust issues. I ain't never had that problem, but when a woman start trusting a man, he might as well really just go. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm praying about the answer to that one. If a man start trusting a woman, which is even worse, believe it or not, because he turned cold, and you start trusting God, then how you going to make anything from God? Because nobody we got to grow up. Got to grow up. Let's finish that. And to knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance. Oh, that's a great word. Look at that word, temperance. Oh, I like that word. Powerful word. He say knowledge give you what? Temperance. Why does knowledge give me temperance? What's the definition? This ain't cool. Hey Siri, what's the definition of temperance? See, you might not know that one. That's they say absence from alcohol. Nah. <laughs> the quality of moderation, moderation. or self. It's self what? Moderation of action, thought, or feeling. Or you see, you know not to give too much. You not you know you know how much to give. Temperance. That's a word we don't deal with. So when I get some knowledge, I can deal with you a little longer without exploding on you. Because really, it's a fancy word for patience. And I'm talking about no alcohol. None of y'all should be drinking no alcohol. No, no. You should be alcohol free. Unless you got that, that rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Amen. 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 Read that definition again. Moderation and action. Thought. Moderation and what? Action. Uh -huh. Thought or feeling. Uh -huh. Restraint. What it is? Restraint. restraint. Say that part again. Restraint. restraint. You know what you get restraint from? Information. A lot of us deal with situations, but not enough information. I, would tell, I had my son on a mission one time. I told him to go see about somebody. One of them came to me and he just straight just told me whatever came to mind. He didn't even, he didn't even investigate. And I knew I said, boy, that boy lying. And I went and investigated. If you don't get the proper information, you'll get the wrong response. Mm -hmm. Maturity got something to do with how you respond. Amen. Period. A child responds like a child. And an adult respond like an adult, period. He said, when I was a child, I thought as a child. He thought as a child. You see, and what I'm trying to say, the devil's trying to hold us in this. You got to get the, you got to think as a victorious person. The people was in the church. Mm -hmm. I had to pray as if people was in the church. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We used, have office, we used to have four services with just two people. Mm -hmm. And Yala, there three people. Yala was there, the AV came with there, yada, yada, yada. Yala was there from the church on the inside. Well, he brought some outside, he built on the inside. And he said, the priest message, I was telling the brother, he said, the priest message, and we got past the baptism in Jesus' name, Jesus, the one is a God. I, this is what I had to preach on Sister Wilson. When I say preach on, don't mean like talk about it. I had to bring her up to speed. Mm -hmm. Bad news to the message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that ain't nobody there. He likes you to talk to me. Just be a little. Hallelujah. That's tough. You know what that developed, though? Mm -hmm. That developed me the skill to sit down in that office and deal with you one-on-one -on -one in the office when you, when, you don't, when you dislike something because I had to do that for her. So many words. That's what that, that ability it gave me. That's what I was talking about. Is you come in and say, well, I don't like you because your, your eyes are... I don't know what color he is.